Have a look at that. It's like pea soup. It's a beautiful day until I got to the coast. It's still pretty warm, but not as nice as it uh, as it was going to be. So I'll take you down there and let's see what I can get. Just going to be on the lures and targeting cod, pollock, anything really. But I'm uh, a bit disappointed with the mist, I must say. But hey ho, we'll try and make the best of a unpredicted situation. See you down there. I'll tell you what, this is really, really poor. Davey had if it was here about an hour before us. And he's had, he had uh, three pollock and a codlin. <laughs> as soon as I've turned up. Hard work. Davey's bait fishing. It's just like around the corner. I try to avoid bait fishing at all cost. Unless it's for a nice chunky bass. But whilst the sun is shining and the summer is here, you'll very rarely see me on the bait. Unless it's like a little away day or something. The current is so, so strong, running from left to right. Obviously the tide's coming in, so it floods south. Um, it's tr tremendous current. I wouldn't like to be out in the old kayak. <laughs> You'd be marking time. That did happen to us, actually. Um, I was on here with my kayak, and uh, the, the current was so strong, it was just like, pff, really panicky. I mean, I could have always pulled in, obviously, you know, and got safe. I was never in danger, but it was like, I was pedal, I had the pedal kayak, and I was just pedaling like mad, and just staying in the same place. <laughs> Birds are breeding now. So the ones in land generally first of May. Seabirds um, are sort of a month, six weeks later. I don't know if that's something to do with the way the feed or whatever. It would make sense anyway, you know. The uh, bait fish coming in. It's time to start humping. Wish someone would try and hump my lure. I haven't got much room here.
I can't believe how shite it is. It used to be good, this place. It's like it's dropped off the end of the earth. Obviously, you'll still catch fish, but... Not like they used to. I'm at St Abs, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I should have mentioned that at the start. <laughs> Yes, I'm at St Abbs Head, uh, just in the Scottish borders, over the border, I'm in Scotland, just, it is about 20 degrees, it's muggy, it's like that, I don't know how to explain it, you know what I mean, like that, whatever that means. Hey, it hit pretty hard that, I don't think it's, it's not like big but... It's uh North came up for a scrap. It's quite impressed. It's from Bang. Feels coolly or pollocky. It's given us a deep really really decent scrap this. Oh, it's got us on the rocks. I thought it was, felt coolyish. It's a decent coolie actually. So. I saw it hooked him in the beak. Look at that. Not a bad coolie, is it? Sleek. Sorry if the camera angle's a bit gash like, but it's the best you're getting. Oh, you bugger. Oh, lad. Coolies, you kind of keep a hold of them. Like, bloody sorker sack, try to keep a hold of them. <sighs> well, you only had a bust nose when I brought you up. You've got two black eyes. Right. In the water. Superb dolphin show. Ooh. Huge, them ones. Wow. It's just superb to watch. Absolutely huge. It's a massive pod. Beautiful sight. He's just getting a stunk in Russ. Just turn your own, see that one. Wanna bring it to the camera, dear? Alright. Nice one, dearie. Right. Well, eventually, guys, I'm getting a fish. Feels canny, actually. I think it is. I don't know. Feels more coddy, actually. I'm guessing cod. Because he's just like a sort of lump. Well, no. Oh, no. Strange. It's just another crack and coolie, like. Some sort. What is it with these coolies? They're just, honestly. They just love a good whack on the loaf. 
But as you all know, that coal is, I could probably do that a hundred times and you would still swim back. Not that I would, but there you go. Coley. Oh, good entry. Big Tom Jelly there. Is that the swimmer, is it? I think so. Diver. Oh. Oh. Well, at least I'm getting a fish up. That's two, two coolies. Right. All right, so a few of you um, have commented asking about the, the clothing I wear, what's, what's the crack with the, uh, the golf brands? Well, I play golf, well, I used to, um, until, until recent years. Um, I knocked me back, basically got really bad sciatica um, and really bad back problems. So um, I only play... I'm not a member anywhere anymore, so I only play socially. And um, I find golfing clothing much uh, more robust and weatherproof than fishing clothing, basically, and better value for money. So I wear, people have commented saying I wear a lot of Callaway stuff, I wear um, Titleist, Srixen, uh, Galvin Green. Um, I've got Galvin Green waterproofs, which are tenfold better than any fishing waterproofs I've had. Like, it's not even a comp there's not a comparable out there to gals and green stuff. Um, yes, it is expensive, but you pay for what you get. You get what you pay for, rather. So, uh, that's the answer to that. I used to play golf, I was, I was quite competitive. Played off, I uh, had a handicap of three, but now I, uh, I'm about 103 now. <laughs> uh, about, I play off like 10, 11 or something like that when I, when I play with the lads. But uh, I, I used to be banging to golf, have been since I was about, I don't know, uh, seven, seven year old or something like that. And my dad first got some clubs cut down for us and uh, lived next to the golf course. And I used to just hop over the railway lines and at night I went the course and practice. So I, since I stopped playing golf competitively, got back into me fishing and I've been fishing since about the same age as well to be honest. My mum and dad used to take us down the harbour with a little bit of ragworm, some one over hooks and uh, it's dropped in the side for puddlers, especially in the summer holders, it's great, I loved it. And then spinning, used to go spinning down the local pier and um, every summer holders, it was just amazing. I used to get up at like four o'clock in the morning and stuff, even at the age of you know, 13. I used to have a paper round and I used to uh, go and go mackerel fishing and get back for like half past seven, do the papers. Just take us about half an hour on me round and it's a blitz run on me BMX. Drop the papers off, straight back down to the pier. <laughs> I just spent all summer holders down there. Um, And then sort of got more into golf as I got to 15. Uh, started playing for the junior team. So I've, I've sort of like went in swings and roundabouts with golf and fishing. And obviously football. It's a goal machine, but I don't like to mention it. But I, if I could be a professional anything, between football, fishing and golf, it would definitely be golf. The life there, oh, unbelievable. Not that a footballer's got it bad like, but uh, oh, I love golf. I've just been to Villamora like last month. Uh, my mate Stag do, so we had a week there golfing in the sunshine, just beautiful. I don't know if I mentioned I won one there. Uh, 
Well, unfortunately, we'll get to a mark. Look at this shit here. Animals, man. Can you imagine what the houses are like? Scruffs. Get that cup. Welcome back, thanks for joining us at St Abs just earlier there which is a few days ago, but I've linked this back onto the back end of this, back end of that video. Targeting, ah, hopefully I'll pick up a small codling or something like that. Uh, ah, there's a pollock about, who knows. But I'll give it a go. Whatever I say, I'll take. Glorious day, 24 degrees, got me shorts on. Um, I'm out with my cousin. So we've fished together for years. Together we've fished all over, all over these coastlines, sort of up and down Northumberland. Kids summer holidays, middle school, high school, into adulthood. And uh, thought I'd bring him along for the day. Yeah, he quite fancied it, so he's went for the really, really light rod for a bit of fun. <laughs> Probably about I was just saying to him, it'll be funny if he gets a decent fish on. It's like the lightest rod you've ever seen. It's about seven foot and it's whippy. <laughs> so I will see what happens. We'll let him bring you a couple of fish. We shall see. But I'll, uh, I'll bring you back on if I get one hooked up. Rather than stand here boring you. Well, ladies and gents, that's our first fish on the board. Nice little cuddling on the soft plastic. Cooked with a single hook. Just on that really heavy jig head with the soft plastic from uh, Taiwan or something. I think I got a hundred for it with three pence. Turned the camera off actually because it was really slow. Been here about half an hour now. There you go. Got a little kelpie. Don't think he's big enough for tea, do you? Good entry. There we go. Well, we're off the marks. That's a blank off. I actually just decided I was casting it out. Now I just decided to uh, jig it just about 15 yards out there, just bouncing on the bottom and sure enough, bang. So let's hope he's, uh... oh, <laughs> nearly went back with him. Just had a 20 minute cooling off period there, but uh, I have another fish. I haven't got a clue what it is. I'm not even going to guess, because it's shaking and it's running. And it's like a head shake. And it feels like a coolie. And it feels like a cod. God knows. Coolie. There you go, a little bit better.
Well, I'm going to have a pasty and a cup of coffee. Well, drink the pop. And uh, I think I'm going to set the bait rod up and throw some worms out. See if I can maybe get into a ras. Or even some more small coddling. Who knows? Weather's still glorious. Right, where's that pasty? There's a little fish. I guess a coley because it was really close in again. There we go. <laughs> the coleys are still here. Love a bit of pink, don't they? There you go. Oh, they never feel, do they, to make you stink? I actually thought that was a much better fish. Very, very hard hitting for the size that it was. I thought Pollock immediately. But it wasn't. It's just another little coley, but it keeps us batting. Sun's still high in the sky. We'll be in the shade in about an hour and a half or so. Maybe two hours, I don't know. I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. We didn't get here till dinner time. Well, after dinner, it was about half one, two o'clock. So I'm guessing it's about four o'clock now. Tide's fallen. Didn't actually really look into the tide times or um, depths, to be honest. We just said we're coming and that was that. And we'll just fish whatever we're given, you know. But it's definitely on its way out. And I'm guessing high water was about 11, maybe, half 11. Obviously the tides uh, ebbing north. So you get a bit of a, a bit of a pull, but not too much. Actually, there's not that much current running. <laughs> just had another little coolie just chase that up to the surface. Right, I've had enough of coolies. I was lying when I said they're good sport and they keep us entertained. The first four or five do. Then they don't cut the mustard, I'm afraid. I want something meatier. Something to put a decent bend in. I still haven't caught a fish any further out than 30 yards. Me and Sire heading back to Sky. Um, well, I'm, I'm going back. He's uh, Sire's never fished Sky before, so I'm going to go there for a few days and uh, later on in the summer, which I'm really looking forward to. I think we're camping. Looking forward to that a few. A few tins and a barbecue and 
Maybe he's even keep a fish to eat, who knows? Pretty certain it'll be burgers and sausages though. <laughs> Oh, bait fishing side as well up at uh, Sky or just lures? Oh, you want, he says. up here in the northeast to uh, have them as a bit of sport when there's nothing else doing. I don't think that has come in down south. Maybe they are. Do you live down there? Pretty certainly here are numbers all year round. Nothing at distance, that's for sure. Well, not at the minute. Me back, and it was spin up the shit. I don't think if under pressure, stop that. It's not that much fun. It just sounds a lot. Now you have 25, 25 kilo dumbbells at the gym. It's not that. What's the gym? Yeah. No, I mean, it doesn't take that hard. It's not that much for a human, but. So I've decided to use this like, well, it's a, is it a toy rod, sorry? Uh, eBay. eBay. <laughs> it's about, probably cost about six pound. <laughs> and uh, 
I just want to have a go of it. Like this fish could be <laughs> half a pound. It could be, <laughs> it could be six pounds, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> That's a good coolie, that. I've got... <laughs> oh, he's away. Ah, oh, no, he's away. It was big, it was a big coolie. I mean, you can see the bend on the road that, that, that just a lure puts in. It's, uh, it's a bit of, bit of sport. Did you? You've got to use the momentum of the actual rod rather than the whip of it. You've got to sort of like move with it when you cast. And the reel's like... So there you go, kids. You don't need expensive gear to catch fish. Simple as that. My local shop, Sport and Leisure in Blythe, um, have got a setup which is, I think it's $34.99. Um, and it's absolutely ideal if you want to, if there's any kids out there want to start spinning and fishing. It'll not cost you the ends, you know. 35 quid, it's got line on it. Um, Real rod, and all you need is a couple of spinners. Get yourselves out there safely. Obviously, if you're young, and you need to go with an adult. And uh, always respect the sea. Don't take chances. Just get out there and uh, enjoy it. This rod, this rod and reel couldn't have cost more than, like, well, 35 quid, I guess, similar, similar amount. And it's absolutely fine for the job. It's good sport. It's just like, way for light. A bit overkill with a braid, like. What, what, what uh, braking strain is it? 50. 50. 50 pound braid. But ideally, if you're going to use braid, kids, just stick some 12 pound braid on. You'll be absolutely fine. Or just use mono. I used to. Caught plenty, I've caught more fish with mono than I ever have with, uh, with braid, put it that way. But braid's obviously more expensive, you know. But if you're looking for, um, you know, budget rod and reel, with line on it then, right? Go into your local tackle shop, like mine, 35 quid, jobs are good. If you're not sure um, what the prices are, then give your local shop a ring. But the chances are, if you buy online, you'll buy twice if you're buying like cheaper stuff. Whereas if you go into your local tackle shop, they'll have a bit crack with you. And, uh, Sort you out what you need, get started. And a half is good. It's a bit of pound and a half, that coolie. I was wrestling with it. If that fight, if that fight there that I felt that was on that rod, it would be like six, seven pound. Just bear in mind, my rod was only 25 quid. It's the best thing I've ever bought in fishing since I ever started fishing. It's a four piece rod. It's a um, Profiler NGT, 20 to 50 gram. And like I say, it's four pieces go straight in the backpack. I've told it, I've, I, tell this all the time because I see loads of people like spending three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred quid on rods and aye, fair enough, that's fine, got the money, I'm not criticising it. What I'm saying is don't feel like that eliminates you from being able to do what they do because it certainly does not. Bird strike there as I was reeling in and then a fish jumped on my lure so it felt like it was like a, <laughs> a 20 pound fish. 
That was weird. Like must have hit exactly the same time. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel like a coolie. Ah, it's a better pollock. There we go. But on the other stamp I've been getting anyway, so it's improving. And that was a distance, which is great. Because um, like I say, I haven't been catching anything outside of 30 yards. So hopefully, that current that I just targeted there, which I seen, I thought, oh, I'll give it a blast that way. And uh, sure enough, there we go. So hopefully this is the start of things. <laughs> you know, there's loads of metals there in my box. Just pick what you want. I keep buying metals, you know, every week. <laughs> and uh, I went, I just went to sort my gear out the other day and there's like something like 160 metals. <laughs> All different shapes and mainly between, there's not under 20 grams, like, they're all between 20 and 60. I never use anything over 40, really. The rod's rated up to 50, but. I never use out that big really. It's huge for today. Is it a cod maybe? There we go. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? No. <laughs> Felt a lot bigger than that current actually. Beautiful. Have a look at the colours on this. Look at that. A stunner, eh? Felt, felt a lot bigger. I was, I was just saying before, I was targeting that bit of current that's going past and it banged as a distance. And I was like, oh, this feels a lot better, but um, still happy with it. Well, I've hit into something small. I suspect a coley. I was sort of mid water. Hit like a coley. Pollock. Hey! Nice one. There you go, nice pollock. As you can see, the difference between a pollock and a coley, which you probably already know, but a pollock has a kink and a dark line. Sort of kinks up and it's uh, first fin at the top. And uh, Coley's got a, like a solid white straight line, just in case as, uh, anyone doesn't know. There you go. Get him back. Nice one. <laughs> well, we're moving to the next mark. Just had a bit of a climb. Up a hill, stroke cliff. Um, just a little bit steep in places. And off gets the blood pumping to the legs, though. See all the um, that in there? Oh, so so yeah. Rass with them at the channels.
really really pisses me off about little scabs that go fishing knee qualifications unemployable thick as a submarine door and end up leaving shit look at this man This isn't the best of it yet. Wait, let's see. Wait, let's see what I'm going to show you. Three or pulley panel. Anyone recognise that right? Not that it's necessarily that person. Like you could have bought them, but. Left all the shit. Fucking. Even leave it. How oh yeah, man? Drug paraphernalia. You know what I mean? More? Salmon trap, right? But I'll take this away, don't worry. You know what I mean? Can you imagine what their houses are like? Shitholes. Dirty skanks, man. Their feet will probably stink. Their pits will be lifting. Little scabs. I'll put that there and I'll, uh, I'll take it back when I've finished fishing. They've even got a bag. You know what I mean? It's as light as a feather. Just take it away, put it as a bin at the top. <laughs>